Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, a 14-year-old student of Veer Technical High School remains in critical condition after being shot at her home in Hayes Clarendon Sunday morning. It is reported that shortly after 10 o'clock, the teenager was in her house preparing for church when she was shot. A man who was being chased by gunmen ran into her yard when the gunmen opened fire opened fire rather and a stray bullet struck the girl a fourth suspect has been charged in connection with the contract style killing of businesswoman simone collimore and her driver winston walters in forest hill st andrew 21 year old shaquilla edwards a higgler of garvey mead portmore st catherine was captured in manchester three weeks ago and appeared before the st andrew parish court on thursday and was remanded until june 5. He joins Mrs. Collimore's husband, Omar Collimore, and two other accused, Michael Adams and Dwayne Pink, who have been charged with the double murder. Education Minister Senator Ruel Reed is set to enter representational politics after being endorsed last night as the Jamaica Labour Party caretaker for the constituency of St. Anne Northwestern. This took place at a special delegates meeting at the Cardiff Hotel in Runaway Bay. Reed will replace Othniel Lawrence, who stepped down as constituency chairman. The family of Taisha Bennett, the three-year-old girl whose death a month ago at Black River Hospital triggered claims of medical negligence, has now given permission for an autopsy to be conducted. Taisha's family, who gave the go-ahead on Sunday, initially delayed giving consent after indicating that legal advice was being sought. There were also calls for an independent pathologist to observe the autopsy. An appeal is being made to medical practitioners to be gentle when carrying out pap smear tests. It is recognized that out of fear, many women shy away from the, possib the possible life-saving procedure. Pap smear screening could help women detect early signs of cervical cancer. Executive Director of the Jamaica Cancer Society, Yulette Gordon, said it was important for women to feel comfortable undergoing screening. Minister of National Security Dr. Harish Chang says the government is making every effort in ensuring that the 400 bed at the Cornwall Regional Hospital is fully rehabilitated. He said that when completed, the facility, located in St. James, will be a genuine teaching hospital with all the required referral services. The National Water Commission, NWC, is reporting that it prosecuted 25 delinquent customers between January and March who had outstanding balances totaling over $3 million. NWC says the recovery activities, which also included routine rechecks of disconnected services were carried, were carried out in St. Catherine, Clarendon and Kingston with the assistance of police. In international news, Russia joined a chorus of voices Monday urging U.S. President Donald Trump to stand by the Iran nuclear deal as Tehran sent a stern warning that it was an all-or-nothing situation. During his election campaign, Trump vowed to rip of the landmark deal which obliges Iran to limit its nuclear program in exchange for the suspension of economic sanctions. Now Trump is threatening to reject an extension of the agreement by a May 12 deadline. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.